Hello, in this presentation we will create a backup file for QuickBooks Pro 2018. If you've been following along with us, we will be continuing with the Get Great Guitars problem. If not, that's okay. We will be creating a backup file in this presentation. If you currently have this file's backup, you can restore it first. Go into the File tab and the Restore as we've seen in a prior presentation. We currently have the open windows list open here. In order to open that, we want to go to the view tab, open windows list. We currently have the home page open. So if you want to see the home page open here, go to the company and home page. This will typically be our default setting, what it will look like every time we go through these uh, presentations. We are going to back up the file at this point. First, want to just mention, of course, that the backing up of the files is very important. We do want to keep a separate backup file for a couple different reasons. One is that it can save, the, obviously we're going to save the data in case there's a problem with the data. And we want to then save it to a different location uh, in order to more have a, some more security. I'll talk a bit more about that later. Another reason we want to back it up oftentimes is it's a way for us to exchange the data uh, we could use a backup file to give to our CPA firm or our tax preparers at the end of the year. We can backup files to help us with adjusting journal entries. could be very useful to be able to backup and restore data. It's also just very nice to have the backup to have saved as of a specific point in time. And this is something that this type of desktop version actually has that the online version doesn't have because the online version doesn't typically have a backup as the desktop version does because it is backed up by the Intuit systems which are usually uh, backed up um, better <laughs> oftentimes than what we could do in terms of a, a local backup. So you're not typically going to lose your data if you're using the online version. However, uh, you're, you can't really save the data as of a particular point in time or, or try to stop at this point in time and see what happens if you do something and if you get it wrong you just restore it back to that prior point in time as easily because uh, you can do that with uh, with a backup setting so we can restore something we can run something we could test something out <laughs> and if it doesn't work then we can restore the backup we can give something to our accountant and uh, see what they do and and keep another backup and um, see what the differences are once we get it back after any adjustments are made many reasons for for the backup but the main reason of course is just to make sure that we have a backup of our data and in order to do so, we want to make sure to back the data up in hopefully a different location. I would suggest either a cloud-based backup or another uh, hard drive uh, that you can then remove possibly and, and actually change um, from day to day so that, the, so that the actual hard drive is not physically uh, with the computer or that we have multiple hard drives that we can possibly take home or put in a different location in the event that there's something like a fire or a theft that would not only take the um, the file but would also take the hard drive of course the backup could also just back up in case there's just corruption in a particular quickbooks file for whatever reason then uh, we can back it up and as long as we got the backup doesn't matter where it is we can back that up and restore it back to the location that we had the backup good idea to back up the file i i mean i would do it mainly anytime i do something new so i get in the practice of backing up the file Whenever I do something uh, new to the file, pretty much every time we open the file, uh, but at least once a week, once a month for sure, you, you want to back up the data. When you do back it up, it usually will go to the same folder, and once it does, it'll kind of delete some of the older backups. So it will go through a system, the default system being that it'll create a new backup, and it'll try to delete the prior backup so that you're not taking up massive amounts of space uh, in, a, in a particular system. Also note that the backup files are going to be uh, zipped files, so they're not the same as a QuickBooks file. You can't open them directly. you got to restore them to open them. However, the backup files, files are substantially smaller because of that, because of their zipped nature, their compressed nature. So that's going to be a, a big benefit. Note they're still fairly large, however, and you can't usually, uh, if you have any extensive data in your program, you still can't usually... Um, say email the email um, data limits are usually lower than the size of many backup files depending on how much data we have in QuickBooks so that's going to be some of the options within QuickBooks going through the process we're just going to go to the file tab up top and we're going to back up uh, the company 
we want to create a local backup. So we're going to create a local backup, meaning local to like the computer, something local to the computer. It's going to uh, not go online. You can look into the online options for backing up uh, the information. I'm going to back it up here to a local uh, backup, meaning again, something that uh, is found on our network. So we're going to go next and then it'll give you this browse option. I'm not going to go through a lot of, I'm going to keep the default options here, but it says, um, add the data time uh, of the backup. So this is really nice because it'll actually change the file uh, by the time you back it up. And of course, when you look at it, you want to know when it was backed up. It says limit the number of backup copies to this folder to three. And that's useful too, because that's going to tell it when you have more than three, it's going to say, hey, I don't want to, uh, do you want to keep backing up to this file? Or do you want us to delete the oldest one and therefore give you some more room for the newer ones? Very useful. Online and local remind me to back up uh, when I close my computer. Uh, so that's going to be good good to have too because we do want to have the reminder on there. But if it's bugging you, then you can turn that off. Um, and then it says select an option to verify that our company data is okay when you save. Complete verification recommended. I would go with the recommendation. Then we're going to go and browse the computer to find where we would like to place this backup. You first get this drop down kind of format, which isn't quite as user friendly. Once you select an, an area, however, it'll then go to the more uh, familiar screen. So you actually pretty much choose the location like two times. So we're going to use this drop down method first. I'm going to go to the Get Create Guitars, select the drop down, and go to section one. And I'm just going to put it right there. And I'm going to put it into it's just, I'm going to select this folder selecting that folder and then I select OK and then OK again and then it says hey you know you just your data file is on the same hard drive as the place where you're backing it up and uh, well, that's not wise or in other words we'll read the message uh, you've told us to save the backup copies to the same hard drive the C drive that holds your company file we do not recommend this instead we recommend that you save to a different drive or to a removable storage device to avoid losing the backup due to an unexpected hard drive failure. So it's telling us, why are you backing it up to the same area where you have the information? We might have a reason. I have the reason because it's a presentation or we might be sharing it in another case with somebody else and uh, we might be backing it up for our uh, CPA firm to, to take a look at it or some other reason. Uh, but typically QuickBooks has a point here saying it's probably better to back it up at least to an external hard drive that then saving the problem of if the hard drive dies for whatever reason that's the point of the backup that it's on a different hard drive and then you might want to have that different hard drive to be switched out and have a different location possibly take a few of them home and, and, and alternate the hard drives maybe have three hard drives and back them up three times a week and take the other ones home <laughs> And in so doing, then possibly you have uh, multiple locations in case not only the hard drive uh, crashes, but there's a fire or there's a theft in the office and you have another backup at some other location. So we're going to go ahead and say thank you QuickBooks, but I'm going to use this location and we're going to say save it now and we're going to keep that as the default and say next and then it goes to the location again, the, the same one it just asked you to, but in a nicer feature. So if you select this drop down, you'll see that it went to that same location, the desktop, Get Great Guitar Section 1. So it's basically telling us, here it is again. Here it is, uh, you really, this is really where you want it. Not because it doesn't agree with where we put it, because it's on the same place, same hard drive, but that's just the way uh, QuickBooks will do it. It'll tell you to, to put it this somewhere first in that um, arrows type format mapping and then once we hit save it'll go to this format again and we can change the location if we want to here and or uh, change the name default name it's going to be the name of the company and uh, then it gets the uh, the backup uh, date which is very nice note that the file type is a qbb a backup file that will be different than the data file. It'll still have this green icon here, but it'll say uh, it's a backup. We already have, this is actually a backup too. We already have one backup here, but uh, it'll, it, the actual file will be not a QBB file. It'll be a different type of file. It not being a backup, it being the file we are using. 
So we're going to say save that and it will then back up. It could take a bit of time to back up, especially if you have a lot of data um, within the program. Uh, it is a fairly, fairly large program to back up. Once we have completed the backup process, we typically get this message saying QuickBooks has saved a backup of the company file to Get Great Guitars, and there is the location. We're going to say, OK, that is great. If we then look at the location, I'm going to select here's where we put it, and we put it into section one. I'm going to make this a bit smaller, make this now a bit bigger. We put it into section one, and here is our information. So here are the files. So here's the backup file that we have here. It is a backup file. Uh, and it's, it's going to be indicated by the backup file. The file type will also say it's going to be a backup file as opposed to the actual company file here, which says it's a company file. And it actually says company file here. So this is a, this is a QBB file. If we were to see the extension, this is going to be the company file. If we wanted to restore this, this file, then We'd have to go through the restoration process. When we do go through the restoration process, then uh, it will only have the data up to the point of this backup. Any new data that will be input after that backup time period will not be included uh, when, when you restore the backup. So if you do make a backup, you do more information after that point, and then you restore the backup, it will uh, just restore the data to the point that the, the backup was made.